Hello, I welcome you all to this wonderful lesson where we are talking about pressure and gas laws. This is what uh, we are talking about. So whenever we are talking about pressure, which is here, what should come to your mind is that we get to talk of a force per unit area of an object. So pressure, we say pressure is equal to force over area. So just the force acting on the area of an object, that is pressure. But when we are talking about uh, gas laws, we get to talk of uh, the behavior of the gases in a particle in different conditions. This is what I get to mean. This is where we get to now understand what Charles law is, what Bohr's law is, and what gas Lucas laws are. So now, what you need to understand before we go very far, these are things that we are going to discuss together. These are things that we are going to know. So before I go very far, I want to let you know that all these questions that we'll be doing, that we'll be revising, make sure that uh, you be writing them in your book. If it is behind your book, you write down these questions. These are questions that will really help you in this subject so it's not only this subject but all the subjects that i get to offer i'll be sending something during daytime so that we try to revise through this is a recorded session so a recorded video so that you just get one or two things even as we get to prepare for our exams so this is a, aside the live sessions that you get to do this is just a public lesson but if you want to join me you get to WhatsApp me on my number 0971 So this is a, a wonderful question that we have here. The question is saying, a fixed mass of a gas is enclosed. So this one is enclosed in a vessel. So a fixed mass is enclosed. We know that mass is the quantity of matter which are contained in a substance. So now, the quantity of matter which are contained in a substance is enclosed in a vessel. Then the question is saying, explain in terms of molecular theory. We want to explain in terms of molecular theory. How do we then explain this in terms of molecular theory? How pressure at the holes of the vessel is produced? So how is it that pressure at the hose of the vessel is produced i want you to understand this according to the molecular theory according to this pressure at the hose of the vessel containing a gas is produced as a result of the collision of the gas particles so it is produced as a result of the collision of the gas particles on the hose of the container this is the reason why pressure is produced at the hose. So it is because of the corrosion of the gas particles at the hose of the container. Where we know that pressure is given by this formula, we know that pressure is equal to force over area. We know this. So we know this. That So if you are taught to define what pressure is, you say pressure is uh, the force per area this is what pressure is we just say force per unit area so now we now get to understand that each particle of the gas exits a force over the area of the container hose nc producing a pressure on the hose this is what you need to know and understand so for us to answer this particular question you are taught to say explain Using a molecular theory, you know that molecular theory, we just go, get to talk of the collision of the gas particles. So now, why is it that pressure is produced in the, at the holes of the vessel? Why is it like that? The reason is that it is produced because of the collision of gas particles on the holes of the container. Each particle gets to exist, gets to exit a force over the area of the container, hence producing a pressure on the hose. This is the answer.
let us now move to the next question so I, i'm just i just want us to revise through these questions so we can move to the next question so this is a uh, question b that i want us to answer so if you're writing down these questions and i advise everyone to write down these questions these are important questions that you need to take note of so here the question is saying so we also want to explain using the molecular theory how the pressure would be affected if the temperature is increased how is it that you explain why the pressure will be affected if temperature is increased keeping the volume constant so for us to answer this question so we know that if the temperature of a gas enclosed in a container is increased kinetic energy of the gas particles is also increased this is what you need to know so if the temperature of a gas enclosed in a container is increased the kinetic energy kinetic energy energy which is in motion state get to be increased because we know that temperature is just defined as the measure of the average kinetic energy so an increase in temperature increases the kinetic energy of the particles this is what you need to know and understand so when kinetic energy of the particles is increased or gets to increase the particles exit a greater force on the walls of the container so from the pressure we know that uh, i told you that pressure is equal to force over area so from this equation we are able to see that uh, increasing increase in the force we are going to have a pressure that will be produced on the hose of the container this is what we get to know so when uh, we see that uh, pressure is affected when temperature is uh, is uh, pressure gets to so pressure would be affected if temperature is what is increased this is what you, you need to know and understand so if we explain the reason why pressure would be affected if temperature is increased i've told you that because when uh, temperature is increased we are going to have more kinetic energy and more kinetic energy will now result into affecting the pressure because pressure gets to depend on this formula the force acting on an area of an object so all in all what i'm saying is that if the temperature of a gas enclosed in, in a container is increased the kinetic energy of the gas particles is increased so when this energy which is the kinetic energy gets to increase those particles will exit a greater force on the walls of the container so from the equation which i've just uh, showed you this equation that is here we see that an increase in the force exited on the walls results in an increase in the pressure exited on the same wall have you seen you are able to know this you are able to understand this that's why we therefore say that pressure is affected when temperature is increased pressure gets to be affected so this is what uh, you need to understand on this particular question we move to the other question this is uh, the last question that we have how can we answer this particular question so we are all talking about this same question so these are different questions that i'm revising with you i want you people to know this the question is saying uh, you explain in terms of molecular theory so how the pressure would be affected if the volume of the vessel was reduced so how is it that uh, the pressure would be affected if the volume of the vessel is reduced keeping temperature constant how is it like that so for us to answer this question we are able to understand that if the volume of the gas is reduced so if the volume of the gas is reduced keeping the temperature constant we know that we are keeping the temperature of course this phrase here keeping the temperature what constant the particles of the gas in the vessel will collide with the hose 
more frequently. This is what you need to understand. Particles are going to collide more frequently. This will cause the force in the hose to increase. Also note that a reduction in the volume of the vessel results in the reduction of its area. So this is one cardinal point that you also need to know and understand. That's why therefore we are going to say that increase in the force and reduction in the area will result in an increase in pressure exited on the hose of the vessel. I want you people to know this and understand. Hence, an increase in volume of an enclosed vessel greatly affects the pressure. So it is going to affect the what? It is going to affect the pressure because you understand that reducing the volume and keeping the constant temperature, the particles of the gas in the vessel will collide more frequently. So once they collide more frequently, we understand that pressure is going to be affected. Hope you've learned something in this lesson. This is what I add for you. So I'm yet to do more lessons on this. I want to revise with you more and more lessons so that we understand this. And those of you that could like to enroll under my teachings, if you want to enroll for mathematics, science, or physics, can WhatsApp me on this number. This is the right time that you need to prepare for your exams. This is my WhatsApp number. You can WhatsApp me on this same number. And don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video and comment. And make sure you are all following me on Facebook, on my Facebook page, which is Arison Jezuru Tutor. Thank you so much.